Hey guys, so I'm taking a trip down memory lane. Back when I was at school, you would see parents, and it occurred to me today. Do you know how many different types of parents there are? They're stereotypes. I think I had the disappointed parent. They're the kind of parents that were like this. Oh, you only got that on your test. Well, you see, Martha did this. We love Martha. Um, and also, Frederick did really well. And I have you. Okay, so my parents weren't that bad, but still. Disappointed. All the time. <laughs> then you also get those clingy parents. Now, they're the parents that just never let go. They just don't want you to go. They would crush you with hugs if they could. Okay, you go play, darling. Have a good time. Did you want me to come? I'll come with you. Oh, you want a bull? I'll bring you a bull. Yeah? No? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll wait here. I'm so nervous. <laughs> then there's the organized one. To be fair, my mum was pretty organized. Now I've packed your lunch. You have ballet at four. You have cross stitching at three. Um, and I'll pick you up at 4.30 at Melissa's house. All right, okay, good boy. Then there's the worshiper. Now my parents were not worshippers. Worshipper parents are the ones that just love their children and would do anything for them. <sighs> oh, darling, you look beautiful. You make pink look amazing. Forget Rachel, she looks ugly, but you, you look gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I just didn't have that. Then there's the parents that sort of give love with their money. Like they're the parents that are so caught up in their job that they're like, oh, here's 50 bucks for a pie. Hello, do you know how much a pie is? It's like maybe $5. And then they're also the parents that are actually the cool parents because they let them do whatever they want. Oh, you want to go to the mall? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Just get yourself home. With my parents, it was like, you want to go out? You've got to be kidding yourself. <gasps> you have to stay locked up in your room all the time. You're not allowed to have friends. What? Okay, so they weren't that crazy. But when you're a teenager, you feel like it's like 10 times the emotion you're feeling. Then there's the boaster parents. I never had boasters for parents. They're the parents that are like, oh, my daughter did that. I'm sure your daughter did fine too, but mine. Oh, yours only got an A plus. Mine got an A plus plus. Better luck next time. Again, didn't have that. <laughs> Then there's the parents that are considered cool, but they actually have no idea where their kid is. Bill, where's Martha? So interrupt in the show. Classic. Then there's also the panicker. Now the panicky parents freak me out. If you guys ever watch Malcolm in the Middle, Stevie's mum was the panicker. Stevie's the one that was like, <gasps> If you don't watch Malcolm in the Middle, just ignore me having a stroke. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where's my son? Oh my god, I just dropped him off. Oh my god, bye, okay. Yes, everything's good, everything's fine. Oh my god, where'd he go now? Oh, he's just there. Oh, he's just having fun with friends. Friends have diseases. I'm glad I didn't have that one. So guys, let me know in the comments what kind of parent you have. And if you don't have parents, well, don't ruin the mood. Just pretend you did. What other YouTuber would say that? Okay, bye.